Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So most Windows updates, as many of you would know, are downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. Those mainly being the B-release updates or the Patch Tuesday updates, as they are also known, which are downloaded and installed automatically on the second Tuesday of every month because they are important security updates. Now, there are one or two things you can try, one or two methods you can try to temporarily uh, stop updates from automatically being installed. And the first is it goes without saying is just to pause the updates for a couple of days and or weeks or something else you can actually try is head over to network and internet. Depending if you are using Ethernet or Wi-Fi, just head over to the properties for your connection and you can actually try turning on metered connection, which can um, in some cases temporarily stop updates from being downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. Now, it goes without saying that um, stopping important security updates from being installed on your device automatically is not advised because in most cases they do address and patch uh, important security flaws or fix um, you know, critical issues in the operating system. But if you would like to install Windows Update on your own schedule and install Windows Updates when it, when it suits you and um, when it doesn't um, fit into Microsoft's so-called schedule, then in this video, we're going to have a quick look at how you can do this by disabling two services that are running in the background in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, to disable Windows updates permanently, you can use the group policy editor, but the group policy editor is not available in all editions of Windows. And also you can download a third party app, which will also get the job done. But I found in my experience that disabling these two services um, will basically be a foolproof way to uh, disable and stop those updates from being downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. Now to get to your services, um, I would just suggest heading to search, do a search for services and then just click on that and this will open up the services menu where all these services that do run and can run in the background um, in your operating system are listed and this is part of the administrative tools which is part of the legacy control panel. Now, um, the first service we need to um, disable, the first of two services, is the Background Intelligent Transfer Service. So to get to that, we just look in the list, and here we get Background Intelligent Transfer Service. And if we hover over the description, it says transfers files in the background using idle network bandwidth. If the service is disabled, then any applications that depend on the service, such as Windows Update, or MSN Explorer will be unable to automatically download programs and other information. So that's the first one. And to disable it, we just double click on the service. If the service is running, just click on stop, head over to startup top, change it from manual to disabled, click on apply, okay. And there we can see background intelligent transfer service is now disabled. Now the next um, service we need to disable is obviously the Windows Update service. And if we scroll right down to the bottom of the list, yeah, we get Windows Update. And if we hover over the description, it says enables the detection, download and installation of updates for Windows and other programs. If this service is disabled, users of this computer will not be able to use Windows Update or its automatic updating feature. So once again, the same applies. We double click on Windows Update service. And if it is running, we stop that first. And then we head to the startup top and once again change it from manual to disabled click on apply click on ok and there you can see windows update is now disabled and if we head back to our windows update and our check for updates you will see now that an error will be shown error encountered and it says one of the update services is not running properly so that's um, a method you can try by disabling two Windows services that will permanently disable and prevent and stop Windows updates from being downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. Now, if we head back to the services list and the services menu, um, because we are dealing with Windows here, eventually these two services will re-enable themselves due to other services that are dependent on them. That's just the way um, it does work with Windows. So what I would suggest if you are using this method is just temporarily and schedule a time where you can just come double check to see if those two services, the background intelligent transfer service and the Windows update service are still disabled and that's the best just to double check and just make that a schedule 
over one or two weeks every now and again and that's the best way just to double check basically that they remain disabled now and um, just to show you that you can actually reverse this whole process for the purpose of today's video if you'd like to get your windows update working again and um, maybe um, you want to now download and install updates on your own schedule and in your own time and not Microsoft's, then we just come back to the services menu, head to the background intelligent transfer service, double click on that, head to the startup type, click on manual again, apply, okay, and now you can see that's enabled again, and the same applies, we head down to the bottom of the services list, windows update, here we go, and we just double click on that service, startup type manual apply okay and there we go that's enabled again now if i x out of there and i head back to my windows update you will see now just give it a couple of seconds that now it's checking for updates and you will see now that um, re-enabling those services will now um, um, enable your windows update to once again download and install windows updates automatically so as mentioned just a quick way um, you can basically install Windows updates on your own schedule and not the schedule of Microsoft. But as mentioned, not advised to permanently disable um, important security updates. But um, if you would like to uh, get the job done, then just, again, just try the steps mentioned in this video. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.